Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mike's Garage. Well, I got a lot of nice feedback about the top five TV shows from 1950. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Jess Harden. Jess, you're exactly right. <laughs> the rabbit ears were the thing. I mean, if you wanted to watch TV, you didn't have a remote. Maybe you had three or four different channels. Each channel, if you don't know what rabbit ears are, they're, they're an antenna that you put on top of the TV and it had two long extendable rods that were the antenna. And that's how you tuned the TV in to get the best signal for the TV show that you wanted to watch. So you always got your brother or somebody to get up there, turn the channel to channel 4 or channel 12 or channel 6. And you had to move the antenna around, make it longer, make it shorter, move it back, move it forward. Sometimes all you had to do was walk up to it and put your hand near it and you got a better signal. And you would say, stop, stop, stay right there. <laughs> stay right there. That's perfect. So and you, they would just stay there. So it was pretty funny. But th that's what you had to do to adjust the uh, black and white TV to get the best signal uh, was adjust the rabbit ears, move things around, make somebody stand in a certain spot or something. So it was pretty funny. But I, I did want to continue on with that. I got... Um, let's, let's talk about the next five on the list of shows. There's, there's a lot of ties there that I, I really liked. They really meant a lot. That was, you know, there were family shows. Everybody got together and you watched. Uh, number 10 I have down is Father Knows Best. I have to say that's a tie with Dennis the Menace. Okay. Uh, Father Knows Best, for those of you, is a, you know, t two girls and a boy and a mom and dad. And, uh, different things that took place, different situations you get into with a, a teenage daughter. It was entertaining, okay? Nothing special. Uh, then the, the next one is another family show that we watched, and it was uh, a show about a dog, Lassie, okay? Rin Tin Tin was in there. I'm going to have to go back and check to see when Rin Tin Tin played, if it was the same time as Lassie or not, but it was... Lassie was a really good show. I know we had a lot of uh, uh, interesting conversations about the show, about what it was about. The dog always came through. We still, we still tease each other about that today. What we need is a dog to go save the day, okay? Um, one of the shows that ran for over 20 years, and I remember we saw the Doors on there and the Beatles, and it was the Ed Sullivan show. Now, that was definitely the family night Everybody sat around when you had company over, you had dinner, and everybody got in front of the TV to watch the Ed Sullivan show. I, I know my uncle got a color TV later on in the 60s, and uh, we all would go to his house once in, a, well, once in a while and watch the Ed Sullivan show on color TV because he had such a variety show. He had something for the older people, something for the little kids, something for the teenagers, always had a nice show. So I have Ed Sullivan's show as number eight on my top ten anyway. Um, well, a lot of cowboy shows uh, back then. Uh, most of them started out on the radio. You listen to the shows on the radio. And uh, the Lone Ranger uh, ran for a few years. Uh, was pretty cool. I mean, he wore a mask all the time, and he had different moral compass. He always would not try to shoot anybody. And, so, you know, you shoot him up westerns. That wasn't him. He was always uh, trying to portray some kind of a moral standing about how he fought crime or how he fought injustice, okay? That was the thing with him. And um, another, another thing, one of the first, uh, I guess, lawyer shows or one of those was Perry Mason. Uh, Perry Mason was a really good show. He got into, was a lot of good actors on the shows, all of them. Uh, but Perry Mason always had a, a, a mysterious way of figuring out the truth and uh, getting to the bottom of the crime and finding out who was guilty and who was innocent. It was always a surprise at the end. So that was all pretty uh, special about that. A lot of honorable mentions in there. I mean, uh, I'd like to hear from you to see which ones you like the best. I know we talked about the evening shows. Now, I'm talking about mostly family shows now, okay? They were on early in the evening. Uh, there was always the cartoons after school, uh, Popeye, Three Stooges, and things like that. Three Stooges aren't real 
popular now because they poke each other in the eyes and slap each other and uh, that kind of, that got old pretty quick so you're not allowed to do that on TV anymore uh, but the cartoons uh, after school uh, very entertaining I uh, can't tell you I don't think we missed a day and Saturday morning wrestling Haystack Calhoun and and all those other guys midget wrestling girls wrestling uh, just wonderful entertainments all in black and white uh, we had a great time watching those kind of shows, okay? Didn't have much to choose from, only three or four channels, most places, so. And I'd like to hear from you to see what was your favorite show back in the 1950s. Um, you know, we, we did upgrade some TVs. We wound up, started out with a real little screen. I think we got up to like a 20-inch maybe TV was the biggest one we ever had in black and white. And then they started uh, bringing out color. Uh, that, that's a whole different conversation. But, uh, yeah, black and white TV, 1950s, some great shows. Still remember a lot of them today. They still play, use those people in commercials. Leave it to Beaver and stuff like that. Um, Wally and the Beav and all that was pretty, pretty funny. So we had a good time with that. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give me a like if you like this. And I love the comments. Give me the comments. Um, really appreciate hearing from Jess. I completely forgot about the rabbit ears. But that was something you always had to deal with. Like I said, my dad used to go around putting antennas up on people's houses, uh, mounted on the chimney, put it in the attic so you get a really good signal. Uh, they even had an um, electric one where you would uh, turn it and the antenna would rotate on your roof to try and get a better signal. That, we don't really have that too much now. Cable TV has kind of taken over. Okay, So, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Give me a give me a like and uh, send send me some comments. I really do appreciate it. Everybody, take care. Be safe out there. See you now.